Oh boy. Uh, before we get started, let me just make this a pinned comment real quick. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, where was the thing? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Apologies. Uh, even though, uh, again, this is a remake, I don't want to be, even, even though I'm admittedly going into this skeptical, and I haven't been looking forward to it, and I'm not a fan of Bloober, I still don't want to be spoiled, because I do know that there are some tweaks and some new content compared to the original. So, let's go. Hopefully, I am wrong. Hopefully, I wind up liking it, or at least being unoffended by it. There's no chance I'm using controller audio, my guys. None. Uh, excuse- No! <laughs> Fuck off! Performance! Uh, I'll go with three. Uh, no, 2.75, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Go with white for now. Yeah, let me let me know where I can fucking hop. Uh Hopefully there's an option to. No, it doesn't look like it maybe under accessibility. No, this is accessibility, isn't it? No option to turn off accessibility, which is uh, annoying or not accessibility, quick time events. Uh Yeah, I don't give a shit about any of that. No! Hold. Yeah, just what Silent Hill needed was quick time events. That's fine. Uh, no, suck my nuts. Hopefully there's more settings so I can turn off the fucking... Uh... No, fuck it, we'll just leave that on. I don't give a shit. Oh, I will say that they have a lot of, uh... Options, which is cool. That's not 90s, that's just a shitty gray filter. Whatever, we'll leave that for now. Uh... Well, I'm using headphones, so... Thank you. 
I don't see anything in game for controller audio. So hopefully. Okay, I'm thinking of the Silent Hill. So hopefully, just because I have that dis hard disabled on the console means that I won't get it in game. Okay, new game. Standard, standard. Fuck off. Hey, thanks. Oh yeah, I forgot to launch the bot. I am concerned about the game's length, though, because I've heard reports that this game is long as dicks. I just realized I was muted! Uh, yes, I play the old. I'm a huge fan of the old. Uh, I'm highly skeptical of this remake. Because I don't like Bluber, and I don't think the game needs to be remade, and we're literally just starting, so... I'm not entirely sure... ...how I, I feel about it just yet. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, so I decided to just mute. Uh, well, that's, oh, dedicated quick turn button. That's uh, a little rough Z fighting right here at the start of the game. Not that Z fighting is a big a deal, but... Circles dodge. L1 is run. <coughs> Hey! I did look at the trophy list, so I knew that was a thing.
But yeah, I, I, I don't trust Konami. I don't really trust Bloober Team. I'm highly skeptical of, of this entire game. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I have seen from previews leading up to its release, uh, I disagreed with. And some of the stuff I've seen leak-wise, I really disagree with. But I'm trying to go in with an open mind and not like completely shit on it straight out the gate. Uh, I want to be fair. I'm hoping I am wrong and that I wind up actually liking the game. I'm not going into it to hate it. I just the cards are stacked in against it. If I'm wrong and I like it, or I think it's okay, then I will be happy. I, I'm not a type who's going to be thrilled if this if I think this game is dog shit. Uh, that said, I highly doubt it will uh, surpass the original Silent Hill 2 for me. Like, there's no chance in hell it will. A lot of, of of what I love about Silent Hill 2 cannot easily be replicated. Uh, polished combat mechanics and modern graphics uh, will not do, 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 aren't 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 a factor. I just want a proper port slash remaster, like. Release the original Silent Hill 2 on GOG. Because there is a PC port. No text the first time we get a save, which is a little disappointing, but whatever. No, they made it dialogue. I'm also expecting uh, the... the general plethora of, of modern AAA bullshit that I generally dislike about modern games. Oh, this is uh, the PS5 version of the game. Uh, I was... I'm always skeptical of PC releases now, primarily because of Denuvo. And I don't know if a company will use Denuvo or not. Uh, oh, hello. Muting again. Sorry, I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. This, uh... This town, there's something... wrong with it? And it's not just the fog, either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No. Believe you, it's just. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for. someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too.
So yeah, the, the, so far the voice acting is very professional sounding, uh, which again, it, it it for me it it's it's irrelevant. I kind of prefer the stilted, weirder voice acting of SH2, but and again, I'm just gonna treat try to treat this as its own thing. Did you uh, did you want anything else? No, I just saw a button. It's just this fog. Does it seem unsettling to you? Yes. Yeah, let me. Just in case, we'll see. Again, I'm. I want to like it. I hope it's good. I'm just again very skeptical. I'm just tweaking some audio shit. Go. Gooly wooly. Hold on, people are messaging me now. The ghoulish brethren. Everyone sounds sane and normal. Ghoul guts. It's upsetting. It's it's the same thing like with the Silent Hill HD collection. Like, yeah, the voice acting is technically better and more professional, but it just doesn't fit the characters in my opinion. The main the the, the main thing that I'm going to be very curious and cautious about is uh, Mary's letter at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm also uh, highly skeptical of Delta as well, because again, I, I have no trust in Konami. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably play it and give it a go at some point, but depending on how things go, I might not get to it for a while. I do know... Ghoulguts, you, you'll, you'll be... you might find this interesting as well. They added, uh... there's... All six endings of the original game are in this. And they added, uh, apparently two new endings, but at least from looking uh, up stuff online while trying to avoid spoilers, nobody knows how to unlock the two new endings yet. So at the very least, they still have... Uh, UFO and Dog. Yeah, Aaron, it just came out three hours ago for digital deluxe owners. It technically comes out uh, Monday at 9 for everybody else who, who don't shell out the extra, like, 10 or 20 bucks. Six, uh, it's six endings in the original, eight endings in this, but nobody knows how to get the last two endings, apparently. Yet. Oh, uh, we'll see. Yeah, Konami's doing that. Hey! Spend extra money and get some cosmetic bullshit. And also play it early. Oh, oh, ghoul guts. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll see, but also, um, just as a heads up, I went through recently Bloober's previous game, uh, which is their remake of Layers of Fear, and, uh, I hated it, and I think it's one of the worst horror games I've ever played, so I'm not in the best bloober mind mentality uh, especially because I played their Blair Witch game uh, years ago and I hated that too so we'll see again I hope I'm wrong I hope I like it or at least think it's satisfactory slash okay but we'll see went to town to get the window fixed spare keys in the drawer It's pretty pretentious wankery. Hello? Anyone in here? That was a pretty bad camera jitter. Yeah, not not end of the world, but
I see they're doing the, hey, you know, why don't you look at the item and inspect it? I don't, I don't want to just put it in my fucking inventory, my guy. Uh, also, early reports were claiming that this game is like 18 hours long, Gulgut, so I'm a little... ...worried about that as well. But we'll see. Oh, hey, it's the spot where we'd get the board last time. Oh my god, we're not getting the board? No, of course not. We saw that in the gameplay footage. They're being cute. There's like some new collectible that references stuff from the original game or something. You know what would have been cool if the original Silent Hill 2 was included as an unlockable in this? Kind of like uh, what uh, Sony did with, with uh, Medieval. I mean, I will say that uh, as a positive, the fog effects are pretty good. And so far, James hasn't been talking to himself non-stop, which is something I was fearing. There you go. No, 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 not DDR. Six, uh, 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 Tony Hawk skateboarding minigame, Pyramid Head skateboarding. That's what I want. And make sure Pyramid Head has a ginormous dumper. Like the thickest ass. Imaginable. I mean, Bloober is certainly really, really good at visuals. Uh, it's everything else I'm skeptical about, though. <sighs> Oh my god. Really feels like that section was kind of longer, but whatever. I just wish there was a quick button for a map. Oh, whatever. There is a quick turn, which is nice. A dedicated quick turn button. Also, ghoul guts. I can combat dodge through my cr trauma at the pre press of a button. Where's my goddamn board? Oh. Miss Cassandra, a customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white. I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off. Looked at me like I wasn't even there, and then he just left. Said he'd be back to pick them up later. I just wanted to let you know, since I might be gone by then. Uh, they also aged James up. James and Mary up. Google Guts. They already mentioned that. Because in Silent Hill 2, James and Mary are like in their late 20s, and Bloober was like... Oh, well, you know, we think uh, older people have more personal baggage and trauma, so now they're in their late 30s. It's like, my guy. That's, one of, that's a very silly, arbitrary change to make. But you do you, I guess. Oh, my God! What is this? It's blood! I hope it's not Chris's blood. You give me your goddamn board.
I don't know. Just give me a mouse button. Am I stupid or am I not appearing on the goddamn map? Why does it keep opening a nut? Like, whatever. It's fine. More of that stuff. You love stuff. I'm going over here because it's obviously the wrong way. Any items? I think normally I would have come up with. I, think, I just played Silent Hill 2 the other day. I already can't remember, but I think I would have come across like like 78 health rings by now. What's my inv- oh, that's a quick heal button. Is there just a dedicated map button, please? Okay, T-pad up. There we go. To be fair, I turned off tutorials because I don't want fucking goddamn tutorials breaking my immersion in a fucking horror game. Uh, I mean, if you're digging it, Pro Reborn, I'm happy for you. I am still incredibly skeptical. Like, look, I, 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 I definitely want to see OG Silent Hill 2 brought back to modern hardware, or at least to slap the OG PC version on GOG. I just do not trust Bloober, and a lot of the stuff I've seen about the game, both from previews and leaks, I'm not a fan of. But I am willing to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I like it, or at least think it's okay. But I'm still skeptical. Very, very, very skeptical. <laughs> hey, wait. Especially because I don't trust Konami and I fucking hated Layers of Fear. I'm gonna be cautious and skeptical until the end of the game. But I do want to ultimately like it. I want to be wrong. Hey! You stop that! Hey, you stop making noises! Who do you think you are? Oh no, there's nothing. Hello? But I'm very glad you're enjoying it. No, there's no items. Hello? There's a gate. Alright, there we go. Hey! You drunk fuck! I mean, you say that, but then they also made Silent Hill Ascension. And Silent Hill The Short Message. <laughs> they started this Silent Hill revival with a fucking wet fart and then the worst fucking Silent Hill game ever made. Ascension is one of the funniest goddamn things I have ever w watched, but it's unintentionally funny, and it's just terrible. And Girl Guts, we gotta get back to that at some point soon in the near future. So you can finish it. And then the short message was, uh... It was basically a, a blooper team game, but not made by blooper team. Yeah! Yeah, we only have like four episodes left. I gotta finish editing the, 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 uh, the bullshit in. Things have just been tricky. <gasps> oh, good. Oh, we're doing The Last of Us open drawer stuff. Yeah, give me that. I wanna look at it. Just give it to me. Yeah, g give me, give me a little bit. I just gotta edit the, the, the stupid bullshit in. 
I might have us just blitz through the last four. Straight away. We'll see. Radio? What's going on with that radio? Hey, I don't see nobody in here. I'll let you know. I also gotta squeeze in more Resident Evil 6 with Saru. Hey, you drunk fuck! Geronimo! I'm also in no rush to suffer, but I'm also running out of scheduled ascension bots for us, so... <laughs> Alright, combat, baby. Uh, is it R1? Nope, it's not R1. Is it R2? I love QTEs. Just what I wanted in a Silent Hill game. Why is R2 in melee? Whatever. Get out of here! Hey! It's a big thing! Whatever it is, it's not human. Okay, combat is not quite as fast as I was fearing. There's still a bit of slowness to it, which is nice. And they also have that little stagger thing where you, you, you stop after three swings. Mm. Yeah, the, sh the short message was fucking dog ass. I hated that game. <laughs> Discount wannabe PT. That also has nothing to do with Silent Hill. Good. Yeah, the soundtrack was good, and uh, Blossom Head or Cherry Head or whatever the fuck that monster's name was. Uh, yeah, that was some great monster design. You know, absolutely, I will give it credit for for its OST and uh, its monster design. Uh, but in terms of um, like gameplay and narrative. Uh, absolute wet fucking f fart. In terms of how it handles dif uh, difficult and sensitive subject matter, absolute wet fucking fart. Uh, in terms of annoying the fuck out of me with endless goddamn uh, trigger warnings uh, every half hour, Neely's Bar. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was also a major thing. Oh, no! Oh, hey, where are you at? Huh? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you. Hey, you, don't you squiggle away from me. I mean, even, um... Silent Hill Homecoming and Origins, uh, Ghoul Guts, which I, I don't particularly care for. I don't hate them, but I don't care for them. Uh, their OSTs were a bop. Uh, it's, 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 it's pretty dense-ish, at least in the distance. I'm, I'm fine with the fog visibility in terms of what's around James. It definitely looks different compared to, uh, PS2, uh, you know, for sure. I'm- I'm fine with the fog. Hey, get away from me. 
But I am highly skeptical of, of a lot of stuff. Good, let's do it! If I could fucking emulate, uh, the, the pachinko machine, I would. You gotta look into how to do that, along with the stupid shitty mobile games. I did emulate the, uh, the Game Boy Advance Silent Hill game, Ghoul Guts. Hey, give me that. Give me that, give me that coin. Hey! Hey! Hey, you, you, you little squiggly fuck! I don't... I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, uh, melee on R2. I know, I know Dark Souls popularized melee on, on triggers, but I'm not a big fan of that. I might look into trying to change that later. I am okay with having to break glass to get items, however, that's fine. Or break glass for, to go through windows or whatever. Oh, uh, Silent Hill on Game Boy Advance School Guts, if you haven't played it, is actually kind of like a audio-visual novel of Silent Hill 1 with, uh, some expanded content. It's not, like, spectacular, but it's- it's- it's neat for a once playthrough. Ah. Oh, fuck! Yeah, me! Enemies seem a bit spongier on normal. I'm not entirely keen on the way to visualize health in this. It's very minimal. I don't want to dodge. I know the dodge is a thing. I I made fun of it in Homecoming. And I made fun of it in the lead up for this. And if I can get through without dodging, I will. Because I'm going to be a stubborn dick. Uh... In March of 1965, the town of Silent Hill was visited by the main... Psychial Research Association. After thorough examination, a team of experts went... Expert dowsers from the association concluded the area surrounding the, the now historic uh, Wilts coal mine to be highly active. They also expressed their hopes for future research and exploration of the gorge. These hopes, however, were never fulfilled due to the location being restricted as a historic nature preserve as declared by the Silent Hill Historical Society. Additionally, the idea was met with resistance from local community, which claimed that the nature of the association's research would hinder tourist activity in the area. Questioning the credibility of our research and hiding behind day-trippers seems like an excuse to prevent us from seeing what's really out there, commented one of the researchers. Unfortunately, none of the local representatives were able to comment on the matter. Editors note, at the time of the publishing, there exists no evidence supporting the credibility of radiestia? I'm not sure how to pronounce that because I'm a big stupid idiot. Or proving effectiveness of any dowsing methods. Opinions expressed in the article do not reflect the author's views. <sighs> not, not so much a button masher, just more of like an old school Silent Hill fan. Like, I thought... Alex's combat dodge was the stupidest goddamn thing in Silent Hill Homecoming. That combat roll. And while admittedly, this combat dodge isn't quite as ridiculous as the combat roll, and while admittedly, you could do a very clunky backstep in the original Silent Hill 2. I never really used it in the original Silent Hill 2. Uh, so I'm not really interested in using it now. Because I'm a stubborn, silly sausage dick. 
Uh, who likes to complain? That way I can also bitch about balancing. Hey, you get from me! I'm exploring! Fuck you. Hee 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 hee. No. No. Sucker. Sucker! You are a fucking loser! You're trapped in there and I'm out here, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing! I'm giving you extra ways out, you fool! Nothing! You can't do it- Oh fuck, it's squiggling at me. Hey, get away from me! Get away from me! I'm trying to look at my map, sir. Go away. You go squiggle somewhere else. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't hate Homecoming or Downpour. Actually, between th Homecoming, Downpour, and Origins, Origins is my least favorite. But also, admittedly, it's been forever since I played Downpour. They're not good. I wouldn't call them good games. Uh, but I don't hate them. Hey! You get away from me, you, you, you little, you little munchkin. I'm gonna break everything, I don't give a fuck. You give me glass, I am breaking it. No. Do you know who I am? A motherfucking James- Yeah, I- Yes! I'm glad that James decided to just yeet himself across the road. Because <laughs> of auto targeting. Listen, I'm breaking all this glass. Oh, I wanted to break that too. Uh, I love Shattered Memories though. Silent Hill Shattered Memories is, is fantastic. Damn it. Uh, fuck door. No! Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking dodge, aren't I? Hey, get away from me. I don't wanna dodge, though. I wanna be a stubborn dick. God damn right I did. You see, I like the way you phrase that there, Gold Guts, because it also implies that I came to Silent Hill to vandalize buildings. And I absolutely positively did. I mean, both are promise- uh, the monster acid is a more appealing, uh... choice. Uh, the man was here again. I told him he'd been warned not to come here. He acted like he didn't know what he was talking about. Anyway, he got up and left. He didn't make any sort of fuss. There's something about him that gives me the creeps. When I look at his face, it's like I'm staring at a mask. There's something underneath waiting to get out. I don't want to be there when that happens. Thing in the back now. Can I break the car glass? Yes, I can. Alright, I was, I was about to say 0 out of 10. Excuse me! No, let me in! I can't break the door glass! 0 out of 10. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna, like, burn through my healing items like an asshole. Hey, you get away from me! Where are you? Where you go? Uh... For the meme? Wait, where is... where's the button? Is it just me, or do I not see the icon? I don't... I actually... oh wait, I vaguely see it. This is a little too light. Unless I'm a big stupid asshole. I think we're on zero. Oh... 
four, five, one. No. I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. Yeah, fuck Mary. Oh, the shit. Get away from me. You squiggle somewhere else, sir. I am busy. Can I go in here? Yeah. There's a save point, so I'm assuming you can't come in here. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's gotten into him. He's just started smashing the thing. Yeah, that me. Uh, had to throw him out. He ran off, cried. He'd fix everything. I gathered up what I could and still haven't found one of the buttons. Half the record is launched inside. The other part's missing. Figure he must have taken it. Come to think of it, he did run towards Groovy. Anyways, maybe go check up on him. See if he's alright. He lives over at Saul by Pharmacy. Apartment 9. Can't go into the freezer zero at a time. Let me in. Let me use the coin. Oh boy, a new puzzle. Oh, there's a hole here. It's gone now. Squiggles. Excuse me. Me and my green jacket have places to be. And glass to break. Get away from me. Oh, good. Let me guess, I can't actually, uh, if I r try and read, probably I'll get butt-fucked. What are you, squiggles? I'm gonna have to fight you! No. Bad squiggles. Alright, well, fucking... Dodge! Hey! It's a bad squiggles! You bad! Get out of here! It's a bad squiggles! Huh? Uh, you will see sooner or later, you will see. Okay. Uh, checked. Zero, zero, zero to zero uh, to 4013. Took almost two hours. Had to run. Checked 4014 to 4439. Had to run again. Feel like I'm so close. I just know it. So it's somewhere after 4439, huh? <sighs> There's definitely less healing items than there were in OG Silent Hill 2. OG Silent Hill 2 on normal is is pretty pretty goddamn liberal with healing items. Granted, I'm also taking a lot more damage because enemy AI is well, it's smarter, I guess. Uh and I think they're doing more damage. And also I'm being a stubborn dick who's refusing to dodge. That's cool, just go through it, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. I guess that's one way to make it hard, a dodge button that dodge doesn't dodge shit, but whatever. Can I jump? Yay. Healthy? 
What? Oh, there's a vent. Maybe that's the hole we're referring to. Again, I'm going to consistently be a snarky asshole. Read. Hey, do you got a happy burger in here that I can eat? You... F oh, for fuck's sake. Get away from me, squiggles. Yeah, we're dead already! What are we at? 56? Yeah, I know I died. Blooper, you lied! I'm being facetious. Because every single dev lies. Yeah, we already watched that. In context, what I'm saying, uh, in regards to the lie, is, uh, Bloober was advertising, Oh, the, 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 the game has no loading. No loading screens, which is... Look, guys, like... Whenever you phrase it like that, you sound like an asshole. Developers need to stop doing that. Loading is fine, especially in this general era, uh, era of gaming, because loading generally, uh, you know, isn't all that long. So, you know, they're clearly reloading my save from death. So yes, there is technically a loading screen. Yes, I'm being a, a pedantic, shallow asshole about it. But, uh, that's kind of how I roll, man. Especially to game devs who, who, who say stupid shit. It's like, um... There is... I don't wanna... I, I can't remember if I've explicitly stated this on stream before, and I'm not... I don't really want to, because it involves a company I worked at. But there was one developer who I worked with where, where he claimed that, uh, uh, uh... Uh, games that he worked on from his company don't have loading screens. And, uh, that was on the PS4, and that was an actual outright fucking lie. And he was claiming that anything, like, that could be considered a loading screen is, like, intentionally put there by the developers. Because, you know, you could die in a game and it's traumatic, and it's like, my guy... Yeah, it could be tra it could be traumatic. But you know what's more annoying when you die? Uh, having to sit through a goddamn lengthy-ass loading screen. So, if you actually are able to cut down on a loading screen... Uh, yeah, you, you, you should fucking do that, right? Otherwise, it's kind of silly. It was also similar to Ghost of Tsushima, which again, you know, it's a phenomenal fucking game uh, for, for those who, who like that sort of thing. I'm kind of, like, its narrative is pretty good, for sure. Uh, and its combat is pretty cool, but I'm just kind of also super burned out on open world games, right? Um, and the devs advertised how... Or they said in an interview, oh, our loading screens could be could be even faster. But we intentionally had to nerf them. Oh, what the fuck? Get off here. So players could, um... So players could read the tooltips. And it's like, my guy. Just have, have it so then the player has to press a button to progress past the loading screen if you want players to read a tooltip. I don't believe you that you could have made your, your, your loading times faster because this is a PS4 title and they were already lightning fast as is. Right? And if you are being sincere that you could have made those loading screens faster but you, you decided not to because of tooltips, I think you are a bit of a hack and uh, not really prioritizing game development. Well, that's just me. Well, there's items in there, so there's clearly a way to get in. Like, again, just have it where, uh, uh, loading screen happens, and you press X to continue, and that way you have the best of both worlds. People can read your fucking tooltip if they really want to. Or... They can, uh, just get back into the game faster, which is what most gamers would want to do. Because, you know... Death in a video game kind of sucks, and you kind of want to get back to it. Read. 41567. 
I'm assuming that's going to be important for something. Wait a minute. No, four, five, one. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're fucking referencing System Shock. I was making that joke. So, okay, so four, five, one is going to be a code for something. <gasps> Clipping through the door? Zero to ten. I know they said apartment nine is where we need to go, but it's apartment seven. Hello. I'm certain now it's coming from that apartment. I keep telling him, why won't they do something? It's unbearable. I can feel it seeping into my skin, pushing itself into my lungs. Hey! Back here. There's nothing really noteworthy in here except for that single note. Maybe that's why the game is 18 fucking hours long. Allegedly. Can I smash this? No. I need a key. Yeah, we're like a little over an hour. <clears throat> Can't get up to the roof, that's fine. Okay, six. Small street apartments. Uh, maybe there's something more downstairs? Again, this is an entirely new area. Also, so far, no yellow paint, which is nice. Five. Let me open the safe, you fucks. Apartment five left the key. It says there's a leak from upstairs. Gotta check it out. Oh my god. Hey. Why won't you let me take the... Take the map, my guy. Oh, so the cinematic is probably used for loading, too. Most cinematics are actually used for loading. Yeah, it was 100% used for loading. But yeah, if you ever see a developer claim that their game doesn't have have any loading in it, they're 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 a fucking liar. Their game might have super fast. Wait a minute, hold on. What am I doing? I can't. One zero out of ten. Yeah, 
And she came and washed it all away. It started to make sense again. It's this place. I can't fight it. Gotta get out. Get my head straight. <sighs> Quick stop at Texan. I think that's also another thing that ultimately I would have preferred. Uh, over Silent Hill 2 Remake. Is uh, like an actual original Silent Hill game. Now granted, we got the short message, which was dog shit, and we're getting F and Townfall, but we haven't heard anything about them, and it's, who knows if they're actually ever going to come out. But still. Oh my god, black goop. James, don't do it. Are we not allowed to go in there? Alright, fine. We don't know anything about it, Ghoulguts, outside of that, the fact that it was a thing that was announced. And I guess it takes place in 1960s Japan. And my initial question was, okay, so how the fuck is this going to relate to Silent Hill? Like, that got me curious. Uh, and then Ascension and Short Message came out, and, and I realized that, oh... It probably isn't going to have any connection to Silent Hill whatsoever, is it? That's it. it still actually could. I don't know. I mean, the easiest thing would be like, oh, it's an offshoot of the cult. Like, that's the easiest fucking thing. That said, though, uh, with F, Gungots, it's from the writer of Higarashi. So already I'm actually cautiously optimistic about it. More so than I was with Silent Hill 2. And similarly, uh, Silent Hill Townfall is made by, I think the dev is called No Code, if memory serves. Um, and I had heard that their previous game, it, it turns out that they are developers who worked on Alien Isolation and they broke away and started their own studio. Um, and I'd heard that the games that No Code had made were actually pretty decent, and I did just play their game Stories Untold, and I did like that quite a bit. So, I can also say that I am cautiously optimistic about Townfall. That said, I think Townfall has a really stupid fucking name. I just want to make sure that I got whatever the fuck they wanted me to get here. Because it's not really crossed off, is it? Now, oh, is that something I could grab, though? Yeah, you see? Uh, I didn't have a cinematic there now. So yeah, I mean, even even with my skeptical skepticism of uh, Bloober Team as a developer, uh, I still would have rather preferred to see an original Silent Hill game by Bloober than, uh, you know, this. Why can't I, I... I literally actually can't move. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh! Uh, hey, boys! We found a... We found a soft lock that you can get out of. Just arbitrarily, I guess, this breaks, and then if you try to come back up here, you can't, uh... You get, you, like, you get partially stuck, and you have to, like, wiggle the stick to get out. That's why I'm paid, paid, well, I would say that's why I'm paid the big bucks, bucks but I'm currently unemployed, so. That's why I was paid the big bucks, and by big bucks, I mean, uh, barely anything, because QA testers are paid like shit.
Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, there's nothing noteworthy on the map. So I guess we're gonna have to go back that other way. To get up onto the roof again. And watch, all this is maybe potentially just for some side shit or whatever. I don't know. Oh cool, we have to actually climb. He says sarcastically. Alright. I wonder if I can hop out the window onto the broken railing. Like an asshole. No. Okay. Hey. Quick stop at Texan. Maybe we have to go to the Texan gas station to bring something back to get in here. Probably bolt cutters of some kind. Because I thought I saw a chain on there. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever, I can't figure out what we need to do there. Hopefully it's just nothing major. I'm assuming the pistol and flashlight are still in the apartment complex. Oh, where is the Texan? Does it say... No, you squiggle somewhere else, sir. I'm not dealing with you. Pass the squiggle. Hey, it's the trailer! Get away from me! Oh man, it's double squiggles. I'm the fucking spit guy. Yeah, okay. So the the target lock on as is is in most video games, uh dog ass. You know Enemies, uh, not being able to knock an enemy out of their animation is kind of shit. Uh, they can be killed, just make sure they stay down. Yeah, no shit! Hey, yeah, wow, that's what a wonderful, wonder, wonderful fucking tutorial thing. Okay, so hold for quick syringe, huh? This place, all it's ever brought me is pain and misery, okay. Sounds good, Ghoul Guts. Have a good night. Don't don't let James Sunderland bite your butthole. Okay. Gonzalez Restaurant, American Cafe, Grand Market, Happy Burger. Neely's Bar has a jukebox, Lucky Jade Restaurant, Groovy Music, Big J's. Texan might be something else later. That said, uh, I'm gonna do a quick BRB because we've been at it for a little over an hour. I need to get a stretch break in. See you in a few. All right, let's get back to it. I'll see you. Can I see a health drink in that window? <laughs> okay. It's the 
Grand Market. I really don't like the uh, the thing on that keypad. There's Groovies. It's further up. I wonder if there's an option to make it more visible. So yeah. Fuck it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. That's gross. Uh, no. Oh, weird. Yeah, no, no, nothing to make the keypad easier to see. Again, unless I'm crazy. Oh good, there's a monster in here. It is pretty goofy. Yeah, that, that attack, you can't like, get, like, knock him out of it. I think that's a little shitty, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Janitor came in the other day, drunk and in tears, had half a record with him, kept yelling, gotta fix it somehow. I was willing to do it just to shut him up, so I got up to get the glue from the cabinets, but then he realized he only had half, one half and ran out. Can't do much about the record. Maybe ask around at Neely's next time you're there, it might be one of theirs. Okay, well, where is the other half of the record? Targeting. Well, I mean, nice for the health drink, but again. Hey! Squiggles! Get away from me! Okay. The door that waits in the darkness is opening into nightmare, huh? Oh no, the door is locked! Yeah, again, unless I just haven't been running into them, there's like far less health drinks. Granted, I did burn through a lot because I'm shit. He says and then immediately stumbles across one. Oh, that's a can. Can I go on? No. Oh, 
What? Oh. Okay. Get away from me. Squiggles! It's a restaurant. I don't need to go there. Neely's bar was down here, I think. There we go. Oh. There we go. Well, I guess this is how we get the key to the apartments. I guess I can make the button somewhere. Seems like this is what... If I had to guess... I'm guessing... Yeah, I, I'm guessing that this is going to be how we're getting the key to the apartment, right? So if I had to guess, this is how they're, they've cranked the game up to be 18 hours long. Is to... Drastically... Increase... Or, or add, like, peek out initial puzzles, fetch quest stuff. To make it hit the 18 hour mark. Because again, in OG Silent Hill 2, I'm pretty sure you just get into Neil's bar, or the trailer, and then there's the key for the apartment. We would have been there already. And yeah, I did just play it the other day, but you know. I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. And I'm not necessarily keen on that. Again, for its own game, sure, but like, again, the pacing of the story is important. It's one of the reasons why I generally really, I mean, outside of a lot of other things, but I really generally dislike the, the Final Fantasy Rem seven remakes. It's because I think the pacing is all kinds of fucked up. Like Midgar did not need to be. I didn't want to do that, but thanks. Midgar did not need to be a. Its own game. Investigate. Four four three nine. What about four 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 oh?
Hey, there we go. Skip three straight to four, baby. like, you know, the Resident Evil 2 remake, right? Or even the Resident Evil 4 remake. They didn't really add a metric fuck ton of shit to them. They are comparable in... in lengths. In fact, they actually kind of cut some stuff out, which is something that annoyed me. Even Resident Evil 3 remake is comparable in length, although that is like a completely, like a complete from the ground up reinterpretation of Resident Evil 3. Maybe someone is safe in here. A keypad is done. Jukeboxes we're, we're still working on. Saul Street Apartments is still marked. And uh, for immersion, I'm I'm sure people are impressed at the fact that like you you can you're reading notes in the environment. And also looking at the map in the environment, I'm not quite as fond of that. It's because it's again gives you a, a doesn't really give you time to read or look at the map if there's enemies about. I'm sure some people would say, well, it's the point, but it's like, you know, that wasn't a thing in Silent Hill 2 OG. Okay, so both of those are locked off. It's already dead. Get this at least marked on the map, right? Whatever we need to get in here. It's presumably a key. Oh my god! There's no fence stuff. What were you looking at, James? Yeah. Exxon Cafe, huh? Where is the Texan Cafe? I don't see it here. Big J's, Lucky Jade Restaurant. Grand Market, Ely's Bar, Happy Burger. Second time they referenced Texan, I thought that was a gas station. Baldwin Mansion, hey! Jackson, Heaven's Night, Rosewater Park, Lakeside Diner, Brookhaven Hospital. Yeah, I don't see the... Texan Cafe anywhere. Unless I'm the big stupid. There's American Cafe, which is right across from the Grand Market, so I'm guessing because that has a name, there's something in there. That might be the Texan. American is blocked off, unless there's another way in. Gotta break the window, baby!
Andy's bookstore. Gentlemen's. I want to say I was already over here. Cafe Texan. Here we go. No, we, we were already in here. Did we miss something in here? Oh yeah, no, this is where we got the Neely's Bar token. Okay. There is a back area, but... It seems like it's blocked off. Whatever. Well, you know what? May maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe we don't need to find some sort of button. I think I'm just overthinking it. Uh-oh. No, sir, you squiggly little shit. Uh, no, Neely's is down here. Get away from me. Neely's? Yes, alright. No, no, we do need a button. All right, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Third floor, Saul's apartment. Okay, there was a hole in the bathroom. Oh, is that where we're doing the whole thing? Okay. Because, again, I don't want spoilers, but I will look it up to save some time. Because I'm fine with spoiling slash backseating, you know, like, looking up stuff of my own, but I don't want... ...others to do it for me. Uh, wrong way! Excuse me! Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, so this is how we're gonna pad out the game. <laughs> okay, third floor bathroom, look for a hole. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is our whole sequence. We've moved it from the apartment to... Unless we're doing double holes. Just... just Why do I have to press it multiple times? Just do it once. Come on now.
Yeah, I guess initial impressions are, so far it is not the dumpster fire I was expecting, although there's still plenty of time for it to prove me otherwise. Uh, it's not without its faults, however. Uh, I can't say I'm, like, super enthused with it, but, you know. Could be a lot worse. Listen, I know this is just gonna give me the key, right? Give me the key. This is the song that we danced at at her wedding. Oh, we we really are getting like a flashback, aren't we? Oh no! Yeah, so this is basically what we're going to be doing, huh? Wrong way. Keep wanting to press triangle for um, the map. That's quick kill. Can the controls be customized? Yes. What do you mean unbound? Read investigation? Yeah, just leave that fucking- God damn it. Why would that fuck with my map setting? Oh, for fuck's sake, Bloober. Uh Why if it's for investigation? Oh my god. Wait a minute. There we go. Is L3 used for something? Doesn't look like it. That's really dumb. If it's for a separate function, it should, you know, whatever. That'll be fun. Like, you can have quick heal. It's, it's, it seems like a bug.
reminds me of that Dead Space issue. I don't remember specifically what it was, but it was a problem at launch with Dead Space. Where if you used a specific control scheme, uh, the game got a little fucky-wucky. It's pretty dumb. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. No, of course, it's a key to the... whatever. <sighs> My fault, I suppose, for, 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 for not paying attention, but also I'm going to be annoyed at Blooper. Because, again, we would have been in uh, the apartments by now. In OG. Oh, good. I love having to push shit to reach an area. This, this is, okay, yeah, whatever. He came back after you left, it's fine. He didn't try anything, he just seemed sad. Mumbled something about getting out of town with someone. I wasn't gonna let him drive in his condition, so I locked him out. His car should be out back, maybe check it if it's still there by morning. It's the greenish bluest one. Plate is ending with 06, I think. Oh, good! More, more, more fetch quest bullshit. Okay. Greenish bluish car. Oh, six. That's a green car. Oh, yeah, it's squiggles. Hey, you're not squiggles. That's 2 0. One six. Coincidence that every single license plate happens to have their uh ha it'd be dirty except for the last digit, right? Oh, yeah, there we go, except for this one. Nothing? Can't break that! Fuck you! Alright, what do you want me to do with the car, then? Oh goody, this is this is this the apartment key or are you gonna Yeah, it is. Oh good, hello. Hello squiggles. Alright, yeah, so we're doing this cheap shit. What the fuck is there wind now? Oh god damn it, I won't. Didn't mean to do that. Of course, now that I swapped the, uh... <laughs> the map to triangle. Uh... And healing the D-pad. I accidentally pressed the D-pad. A second time. Like a dumbass. What the fuck? Why are there so many goddamn enemies in wind now?
Hey, there we go. Completely different layout. What's well, a faithful remake, guys? All right, I'm gonna call it. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I'm gonna call it here. It's not. I guess it's always good to have extra stuff. That's because uh, we're almost at the two-hour mark, and it's two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I definitely will be back uh, later tomorrow with more um, Silent Hill 2 and Until Dawn remake. Double the remakes! Yay! Uh, I'm gonna send you all on over to Rio09, who's doing some Batman Yarkham City. Uh, you all take care of yourself, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and all that fun stuff. I'll catch you all in the next stream. Uh, Ta-ta, farewell, goodbye! Hi, Daddy.